Peggy 16. Join us for an exclusive behind the scenes look at the next installment of the most celebrated RTS franchise of all time. This is Command and Conquer Beyond the Battle Part 1. When our community installs the game and they start to play it, our veterans, the people who've been with CNC since 95, when they install the game and they start playing, all I really want from them is to go, holy crap, this is Command and Conquer. This feels like a Command and Conquer, a classic Command and Conquer game. It feels like Generals. So the core concepts in the original Command and Conquer um, RTS games were really about building a base, defending that base, and building an assault army that you could go attack the other base. First thing we said is we need to kind of wash the stain of CNC4 away. And to do that, you really have to get back to your roots, to get back to what it was that made your fans your fans in the first place. Well, to me, the roots of Command and Conquer are always about base building that doesn't feel like a chore, harvesting that doesn't require your full attention, and a, a focus on fast action and lots of viable strategies in the, in the actual combat. Going back to upgrades and abilities that matter, player powers that feel visceral, and then at the same time, super weapons, commando units are back, and then we're adding a couple new flavors in there, like caster units, that we haven't exposed yet to the public. Well, we're all big Generals fans here, obviously. Looking at the old Generals, there's so many great ideas, so many great mechanics that they built in. So we were lucky to be able to cherry pick the ones we like the best. Now choosing the General is a big part of the game, just as important as choosing the faction you wanted to play. Now, you know, it's like having hundreds of factions, let alone just three. Each General will have its own set of abilities, uh, upgrades, even player powers will change as well. Uh, also, units will be dynamically taken out and different ones will be put in based off of what that niche of the general is. The new generals that we're adding to the armies are really going to keep the gameplay fresh, right? It should, it should make the game fun, enjoyable, and, and you know, interesting for years to come. So what I really find exciting about the next Command & Conquer is that this is a product that's going to be aimed directly to consumers, going directly to consumers and appealing to them uh, for the success of the product, but more importantly for uh, the feedback. So fan feedback and metrics are absolutely amazing now in a connected environment. In the past, we just made a game, we put it in a box, we got the feedback years later, uh, we could make a change in a sequel. Today, we can hear the fans immediately, we can look at the data, we can change stuff daily, weekly, monthly. We can engage in this sort of ongoing conversation with our fan base, where if, you know, say there's a general that we put out that we didn't balance quite right, we will get that feedback immediately. It's not like we're gonna be like, okay, well, when we do the expansion pack, we're gonna patch in three months, we'll fix this. It's gonna be one of those things where we kind of grow together. That's what we want to kind of breed. It's, it's a live product and we want to make sure that the community at the core is part of that rendition of making this game better. This is ultimately the fans game and we're looking forward to making the game better with them. Absolutely I'll play the new Command & Conquer when it comes out. Um, I'm anxiously awaiting it actually. Our number one priority has always been to make this a really fun, excellent game. Everybody on the dev team loves the game and they're doing the work where they're hard at. So a lot of the times people stay late just to make sure that they make a better game because they care about what the franchise is. Everybody wants to make sure that they make the game that the community would love. And we're on the same page on trying to make it the best CNC possible. Hopefully after doing this, I'll be on the beta, right guys?